people on these dead vehicles stop tuning out to this episode 39 or 40, whatever we're tracking at the time. However, it's not your hands asking. And we have the down lights, the old white Aurora's crappy terminated. Nearly all of them are crap. Yup, no one can't see like that. This one is the same. These Meridian Lighting Chrome or Brush Chrome, and they have a cool white Meridian Lighting Meridian Lighting lamp in. So GU10, so it can easier for my own to take them out and change them if I need to. So we have the. They go up there. We're using four Hager J5s and two. Um, called Wago's boxes. That was due to stock originally. I was going to use Hager J5s, but due to stock, we can't do it yet. That is on again. Due to, um, yeah, we can't do it due to stock, so four Hager J5s and two Wago's. That'd be alright. It's only connecting this together. This goes in here, push them up in the ceiling void. That's which should also be replaced as well. That was a temporary one. Power's off. So we've got that, and yeah, let's get started on them. So we'll take them down and test them first. Happy at the moment, these Hager J5s have really let us down, sadly. Hager why? They put Phillips heads on them, and now they're awful to put in to terminate. Now we're using a Wago box. That one's done in Hager, which can stay up there. This one's done in a Wago box, and so you click, click, clickety click, and it was in. Managed to get that in in about five minutes. So this one will be Wago. You'll be Wago, this Wago, Wago. Four more Wago boxes, some more Wagos, and we're laughing. So, back to see, you have to buy some more Wago boxes, because what have Hager done, sadly, Grandad? Our favourite electrical brand, what have they done to their J5s? What awful screws are they using now? Yeah. Phillips. And you, you think Phillips are good for mounting sockets, being electrical connections. I had to try about three to four different Phillips heads to actually get it to lock down. So it took me 20 minutes or so to fix the first one in, but in the, in the one I did with the Wago box, I literally went click, 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 put, put the Wagos on and then just shoved oh, it in the box and then pushed the Wago. Is that a grey one? Yeah, the Wago box. Then I shoved the Wago box in the ceiling. Where are we gonna, you've got, you've got no spare ones about. Not, not Wago boxes. You can't use bare Wagos in the ceiling void because that's just as bad as terminal blocks. Oh. That's just as bad. But the Wagos, they are quite handy, aren't they? Hang on, the trouble is with Wagos, guys, I don't trust them with high ratings. Like, I don't really like the idea of them on a ring main because it's a spring. But for a few LED down lights, I'm sure they'll be perfectly fine. Well, there's no movement there, is there? Or it shouldn't be. No. Nah. What about upstairs though, people walking? Is that fucking mini again? Cheers. <laughs> Shit it. You smell the fucking petrol, can't you? Yeah. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, we have to go the long way because that road is closed, so we have to go this road. Diverted traffic. Yeah, this would be one. So they wonder why we take so long outside CEF, Grandad. Why is it? What does CEF have that we love? Uh, what you got there? This is um, vintage coffee, <laughs> and we normally have vintage chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cafe latte that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. That's that's why we take our time. We sit in the car park. CF is right behind us, and we're just sitting here enjoying our free coffee before we go home. <laughs> we got our Wago boxes and the connectors. They're pretty good out. They're pretty handy in way, guys, aren't they, Grandad? They're making it easy to fit. Yeah, they look good. They look good. Yeah, it's just I don't know the it's idea. Good idea. Yeah. So it pushes in and locks on. You just leave, you just pull the lever back, push your wire in, and click it shut. That's it. <laughs> perfect for little little down lights. That'd be perfect. It could be quite needed, however, not much longer. Way goes. I've saved the day. I always want to use two way way goes because it's the end of the ring of down lights because then all the master one then they're all slave ones 
and this is the end of it. This is one white going to it, and there's no additional light going to it, so it works. You alright? Okay, so here we are. I've got to put a Lissy switch on quickly. However, uh, cool white down lights are on. Perfect. Looks looks like a new kitchen. I think it has the old ones. Well, somewhere lingering about. One more than that. Look modern as well. They're really nice. Putting this switch on this now. Okay, so here I am in the garage again. So we have our main lights, security lighting. That one needs to go off, so that's the garage lights. B6 off. Turn it off there as well. Reason being. We're fed up with them LED floodlights breaking. We've had two of them break. We've had about two scurry lights on there, both floodlights, and they've all messed up. So we're going to be installing a good old fashioned, what do you call them, PIR bulkhead fitting. Challenge one on the wall with a 100 watt equivalent cool white LED bulb in. Anyone walks near it, it turn on, anyone walks away. I was going to bring the wire outside, However, what we've done in a few episodes, we put that box. So if I can move the clutter, then I can cable clip across there, drill through that brick there, and then bring it out so the wire can be invisible from it. That old flex with the old light on needs to go, so I'll get rid of that now. So yeah, that's what needs to go on next. And I've still got the power of the sockets for this, so it'll be pretty good actually. So yeah, let's get doing that now. Okay, so cables in, that needs to be clipped a little bit, however I'll do it later. Box, fuse board, the light needs to be wired up now, so I'm gonna go up there and do it now. First we've got to sort this garage out a bit. Piles of crap in here, but job's done up there. I've wagoed it in to make it more simple. And I've got to wire the light thing up and remove the old one, or rip the old one down. Right, that's it. This job done. Bulbs in, guards on, all working. I've got to work out how to lock the thing shut. Hang on. Rails on, here's the beauty of the MCB. Turn it up there and turn it on here. And the light's on now, I can figure out the time and sensitivity. Put it into night time mode. Nighttime mode and the amount of time on. I don't know where. Get about, about there. So it should be running for its test sequence now. Now I've got to remove the old one. 